About 25 years ago, I wrote a chapter in a book about Roosevelt and the Holocaust. I thought I did a good job, but I was young then. I had no direct experience in government. Um, I found a lot of documents, but I wasn't entirely happy with the level of detail that I accumulated. And at the end, I said, well, I did as well as I could. But that man was a complicated guy, and I really didn't get to the bottom of him. I just didn't know how to find more material. So Franklin Roosevelt was in the back of my mind as I went on to do other things. I was trained primarily as a German historian and uh, moved gradually into the history of Nazi Germany and the Holocaust and wrote books uh, in that field. And periodically, I'd go to a conference or um, read of a new work dealing with the United States, and I kept up. Uh, I noted in the 1990s, in particular, that the family of a man named Sumner Wells d uh, donated the Wells papers to the Roosevelt Presidential Library. Well, this was a, an important step because uh, Sumner Wells was not only the number two man in the State Department during Roosevelt's years, he was Roosevelt's man in the State Department. And the Wells papers, if they were good, were going to be an important source about Roosevelt. What about Roosevelt's papers? Well, there are problems with Roosevelt's papers. There are a lot of papers in the Roosevelt presidential libraries, but Franklin Roosevelt did not keep a diary. Franklin Roosevelt did not write lots of long personal letters. Franklin Roosevelt did not write lots of long presidential memoranda distributed internally. Franklin Roosevelt did not permit cabinet minutes. Franklin Roosevelt met with loads of people. He loved to meet and talk with people, but he didn't permit anyone to take notes at those meetings. Franklin Roosevelt was also notorious for adapting to his company, uh, he could, in a conversation with a Zionist leader, sound like a Zionist, and he could, in a conversation with an anti-Semite, sound like an anti-Semite. So not only was it hard to find sources of detailed conversations, but one had to apply a discount factor uh, to what sources one had. <clears throat> 